let's go get our trivia question slash answer. No winners today, you guys. Shame on you. Not even Sam. I'm just really been waiting I thought, for it. I Maybe thought he was going to call in today, too. I really did. I was waiting for it. <laughs> um, what metal is an alloy of copper and zinc? The answer is brass. Brass is a metal composed primarily of copper and zinc. Copper is the main component, and brass is usually classified as a copper alloy. Uh, the, cop the color of brass varies from a dark reddish brown to a light silvery yellow, depending on the amount of zinc that's present. Uh, the more zinc, the lighter the color. Brass is stronger and harder than copper, but not as strong and as hard as steel. Uh, it's easy to form in shapes, is a good conductor of heat, and generally is resistant to corrosion from salt water. Uh, because of these properties, uh, brass is used to make pipes and tubes, uh, weather stripping and other architectural trim pieces, screws, radiators, musical instruments, cartridge casings, for, and, and cartridge casings for firearms. Yeah, so it is, um, it is really widely used and that's part of it. it. You can change the hardness and the color of brass by changing the mixture of zinc and copper. So um, if you have a material that you can change the hardness really easily mm. and manipulate the hardness really easily and the color really easily, um, that's maybe all, one reason why it's so widely used in things. Right, just a lot of application then, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of application. One of the other properties I think that is useful with brass, um, I don't know if you touched on this, but it's I, apparently I think it's very low friction. So mm. that's why you often see it aside from kind of decoration, like maybe you want a brass doorknob because it looks nice. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's low, low friction is great for locks, gears, anything where mm. it's going to be rubbing all the time because it's more efficient if, if something's smoother. So. Right, makes very sense. Useful. Well, yeah, very, very widely, widely used material, and that's where it comes from, is zinc and copper. Now you know.